today we are going to see the dolphins, hopefully. We're going to a marine life experience. to get out of the car because look at this view we've just been driving around look at this so cool we've arrived after a third oh, how long was it a 50, 50 minute drive and it was how Unreal was the it's drive. It was the most beautiful drive I've beautiful ever experienced drive. in my life. And I'm getting old, bro. And I've experienced a lot of drive. And that was crazy. He was getting goosebumps the whole way. Because he was so, like, amazed And you know what? To top it all off, there was no fucking traffic. None at all. Zero. Zilch. But, yeah, we're here now. Just turning up to the centre. Going to check in. Get briefed on what's going on. Here we go. Hi. What do you take here? This is the name of the company, if anyone wants to know. You can choose from two different packages. We're, we've got this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see those wasps? I don't know why I'm getting so close, but that's so scary. We're waiting until 10. That's when our boat is leaving. And we're just coming for a little quick walk. Look how clear the water is. So one of our boats will be over there somewhere. Taking some pictures on James's camera. Big boy. We're leaving the port now. I said there's some turtles around here sometimes. So, but the water is really clear. So hopefully we'll see some. Okay, I got cards you can do either in the van. That happens many years in Southeast Asia, in ponds, in rice fields. And now we try to do it also in Europe, but it's very expensive. Or in deep waters, that's also very expensive. So the predominant way, the classic way of doing fish farming in Greece, in the Mediterranean Sea, or in Scotland, in Norway, is this type of fish farming. It's called open water fin fish farming. You have the gates, and then you have a net that goes down to 15 meters. And then you have inside organisms where we grow them until we harvest them and sell them. Okay. This guy produces 3,000 tons of fish a year. Whoa. It's a proper production site. Fucking and they export all the way to the United States, Canada, etc. etc. They produce sea bream, sea bass, and red bream. This is the majority of the species cultivated in the Mediterranean Sea. For us to cultivate the species, we need, as we say, to complete its life cycle to know what to do in every step of its life in terms of nutrition, diseases, practices, etc, etc. That's why it's very difficult for us to introduce new species. The thing that you see in the middle, it's an automatic feeding system. It connects with this white boat and feeds the cage automatically. That's how you know your population. We're just about to go swim with some fish. Who uses fish? The rest of you, you can swim and stay here next to this place. After. When everybody has entered, we come back with something and then we go swimming outside the island together with me. Yeah, it's on, right? It's filming. So this is the fish farm. It's 
So we just went swimming with the fishies. What are they? Sea bream. Sea bream. Sea bream. There's so many. The, the um, net goes down, I think you said 14 meters. So 40. Four, no, four, really? 14? <laughs> I don't know. We also went swimming there. It's so cool. There's so many fish farms. Hopefully we'll see the dolphins, but we don't Please. know yet. James is going to do a sonar call, aren't you? Gonna... <laughs> He's now feeding the fish. That's crazy. You need to tell that if you do it, you need to say a wish and your wish come true. <laughs> if the fish is the food. Yeah, a little bit. Make a wish. Ooh. You should throw some uh, garlics and onions, <laughs> or some oil, and then we'll have the party. <laughs> Yeah. We can do it. Such a way to feed them, not season them. Season them, yeah. Season them. Be cool if they're cool if they were piranhas. They look like piranhas. This is the fish that we've just swimming from up here. Apparently, there's about six thousand in there. We wanted to take one home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there. <laughs> oh, but if you. Force it. If you if you press it hard, then it hurts. If you hunt like this, no poison. No, no poison. No poison. Uh, <laughs> you hunt like this. Right. But which of the <laughs> no, no, there is oh, very right. the one very long, <laughs> the long spikes. Ah, only the long one. Yes. The <laughs> How old do they live for, sir? So? I think many many years. Really? I don't know exactly, but you can see if you flip them around, you can see their legs. Oh, Here right. they have their legs. They will, if you put them inside. What, so these will, are their legs? Yeah, no, inside they have some like things that they will go out and this yeah. is their legs and this is their mouth. Oh, oh. They have the same legs as a sea, as a sea urchins. Okay. So that's how they walk. Yeah. They get Amazing. stuck on things. If you put it for too long, you leave it too long in your hand, it will attach. You see now this yeah, one? Yeah, it's wrapping its fingers yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you put it around and you keep it on your hand like that, it yeah. will attach on you. Oh, scary. What? This is the skeleton of the sea urchin. Skeleton? Yes. Really? This is when it's dead. Oh, you see? I never know that. Ah, wow. And this is its mouth. You see inside? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is their same, their defensive mechanism, like that. If I leave it for too long, it, start, it will start attaching on me. Oh, creepy. It's a bit creepy. <laughs> James over there, on the boat. To go closer, yes, yes. Wow! <laughs> oh. Ready? There's always a first one. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah. You got it, come on. Let's go, beautiful. <laughs> nice! That was good. Your tits come out as well. It didn't feel good. <laughs> we found the dolphin. saw some dolphins that was one of the most amazing experiences we've ever done isn't it james that was the best experience and to top it off the dolphin showed up in the end i mean swimming with the fish was amazing to like in the first place but then the dolphins topped it off and yeah definitely recommend that whole tour we did they're called blutopia i'll mention them in the comment section but yeah 100% recommend that that was amazing snacks and water included as well and really friendly so yeah it was a very great experience but now we're going to see this castle that they recommended what is it called james going off mate. okay helpful <laughs> helpful there <laughs> i'm already out of breath i'm not gonna lie look at the view though wow james look at the view Fuck. <sighs> 
just walked up here. But look at the view. Wow. Well, so peaceful up here. There's literally pretty much no one up here apart from us. Wow, look at that. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh wow. Is that a tennis court over there? Look. Where? An old abandoned tennis court. Look at that bin of ash. Look. Oh yeah. We've now climbed down. We are up at the top there and we're going to this cute little cafe to get some water because we are so thirsty. Maybe some fresh orange juice. It's very cute. Yeah. So the previous cafe little place we went to didn't accept a card, so we had to come to Mara's, but we found this cute little restaurant, fish restaurant, and they do oysters, nice fishies. I'm gonna have the Gyros Zaive, Gyros plate, um, some beer, got some oysters. So excited for these, I've been wanting these all holiday. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -mm. <coughs> that looks so rank, I don't know why, it made me feel sick. Oh my god. Tasty? Yeah. <laughs> We have just been out for a lover lovely dinner. We went to Rhonda Beach Bar and Restaurant. We had a huge tomahawk steak, which was just absolutely amazing. How good was it, James? Next level, best meal we've had so far. Next level. We literally stayed like an hour because we were so tired and we went home. But this is what I wore. It's so long. I, I'm five foot seven and I'm wearing high heels and it's even long for me. So I don't know how someone could wear this that short. Does it only come in one length? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. But yeah, it fits very nicely for me though when we're in heels. So that's all that counts, I suppose.